Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to enable 24-7 monitoring and actionable insight into your application delivery in a matter of a few minutes by setting up Chem360 Vision. So I've already deployed a high availability pair of load masters which are providing redundancy and load balancing for two applications, uh, each of which have two servers. My virtual services are called Web Service and Web Service HTTPS. So you can see this in my load master virtual service list. So the first thing I need to do is go to vision.kemptechnologies.com and log in with my Kemp ID and password. And you can see uh, my first instruction is to create a vision agent. So a vision agent um, is something vision uses, which is deployed in your network close to your ADCs. And this gathers metrics and allows Vision to monitor your application delivery, but more importantly, provide actionable insights when something is detected that requires your attention. So you can see here I'm adding um, my required IP addresses and hypervisor, and with just a couple of details, I can create the agent. So in my case, it's um, VMware I'm using. We also support Oracle VirtualBox and also Microsoft Hyper-V. Um, so you can see once I've added the details, the vision agent is being created and you can see um, some information being provided on what to do once the agent is created. So basically this is a zipped virtual machine. Um, once it's created, you can download it, unzip it and deploy it on your chosen hypervisor. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool in that it's a zero touch virtual machine. So because we've provided the IP addresses, we simply download it, deploy it, and turn it on, and it should connect back to the vision service. So once the agent is created, it can be downloaded and deployed, and at this point, the service is waiting for the agent to connect back. Download of the agent can typically take about two to three minutes, but it'll depend on your network connection. So once your agent is downloaded, you can unzip the file, and this will give you the files required to create the virtual machine. In my case, I'm using VMware, so this will be an OVF file and a VMDK file. So within uh, VMware, I go to deploy the OVF template and select the required files. So you can see them just there. And then I can give the virtual machine a name. So you'll see it defaults as Vision Agent. It's probably worth um, using a name that um, is common within your organization, but it's probably worth identifying it as the vision agent. For resources, then it will default to the requirements. So really in terms of setting it up, there's actually very little configuration required. So I'm just gonna map it to the appropriate storage device and put it in the correct network. That's really the only thing I, I need to do. Um, and finish, and you'll see then that the virtual machine is uh, in the queue, it's been imported and deployed. So just while that's been done, in terms of the actual vision service, this would still be waiting for this connection. So until that vision agent is deployed and turned on, the vision service or the cloud component or the vision.kemptechnologies.com um, interface is waiting for that agent to connect back. Um, and that's really a requirement to to get the service up and running. So you can see there the, the package is, is being imported and it should take a couple of minutes maybe to deploy the virtual machine. So I've just, deploy or I've just turned on the virtual machine and you can see now in the web interface, it's still waiting. So this should connect uh, in a couple of moments and now you can see the agent is now running and connected. So just to recap what I've just done, so I've created a vision agent and downloaded it, unzipped and deployed it in my hypervisor. I've turned it on, and then this has connected back to the vision service, and now I've a uh, connected vision agent so that I can move on to the next steps of setting up vision. Next, we need to add a communications channel. I'm gonna configure an email channel, though Slack and SMS are also supported. I simply enter my email address, um, give it a name and I'm good to go. Uh, just, just to know when you do add a comms channel, you will get an email to verify it to ensure that this is an email account you can use. And then you can see there that I get a message saying that that's been verified. So to recap again, we've deployed our agent, it's connected back 
And now we've added a communications channel to receive all our notifications and actionable insights from Vision. So the next step now is to actually um, configure something to be monitored. So what I'm going to do is add my Loadmaster cluster, um, which is the shared IP of my HA pair. I'm going to give the cluster a name. Um, and then finally give the BAL password, which is used to establish the connection. Um, so you can see there, once the cluster is added, uh, I have a message saying everything is good. The cluster Springfield has been added. So now we have an agent created. It's connected back to vision.kemptechnologies.com. We've configured a comms channel and we've verified it, which is in my case is my email address. And we have added a cluster which the vision agent is going to monitor. And that is pretty much it. So with Vision set up, if there is a potential issue detected with application delivery, the information gathered by the agent will trigger a notification to the comms channel configure. What's important to note here is that the notifications are not simply cryptic system log messages, but rather state what's detected, describe the impact, offer context, for example, metrics or traffic levels, and provide remediation steps. And one of the actions that can be taken straight away is to engage with application delivery experts within the Kemp customer support team to ensure that the issue is actioned, dealt with, and application delivery health is maximized.